In this video, I want to take a quick look into the fixtures and custom fields in Frappe and Europe next. I'm going to be exploring three things here. First of all, see we are going to see what is uh, fixtures, and then we're going to see how we are going to use them. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two examples of how to use fixtures uh, within your ERP Next framework or application of Frappe framework. Uh, here I'm going to be looking at the two main uh, ways in which you can apply fixtures to uh, to make your development easy and then I am going to be looking at uh, working with custom fields this one also treated almost the a similar way that you use fixtures the reason why I wanted to cover these two items in this one video so I have put a simple description of what a fixture is here and it's simply a tool that can help you migrate data and settings for your new applications so uh, what what happens in fixtures is that they help you migrate data for instance let's say you have a doc type that is called xyz and this doc type has some data that uh, is not going to be changing so much like maybe some settings data what you're going to do is that you can just add this one into your uh, into your fixtures uh, fixtures array into hooks.py file i'm going to be showing you that in a few moments and then well, when you run some few commands here like bench export fixtures which you're going to be also seeing today this data is going to be carried uh, with your files and you can also back up the same file into github if you're using github to manage your code and then when you go to your new application you when you pull the new code maybe from github you just run bench uh, migrate and the settings and the data that you will have are going to be migrated into your new application so you will find that you will not be needing to keep keying in data for instance if you are into a team of developers maybe even if you are only two um if you put in data from one side the best thing is simply to uh, to do a bit to, to manage that data in fixtures so that the other developer will not struggle uh, maybe keying in the same data for maybe purposes of test so that is uh, how we use fixtures and now I, what I want to do is I don't know what instance is running here let me just cross check so that we can see how uh, how we use fixtures in real life we are going to i'm going to be seeing you with the files that it affects and let me just increase font here so that you can see i'm in the training uh app that we, we created and it is what is also running here and i also have it here okay all right so uh i'm going to log in log in let me log in just in case i need this so what i would like to ask to do here if we do get no we need to go into the apps directory sorry we go into the apps directory let me let me list we are going to be using this library management application because this is our custom application so don't do your fixtures into the uh, erp next or frappe apps because these are done by frappe and erp next teams so what you are going to do just make sure you create your own custom app so that the code that you write can be managed in that app and therefore it is safe even if maybe your app next decided to release a new version tomorrow you can just update or upgrade your instance without losing without losing the settings and the data that you had in your application all right so let me jump here and then i do get status erp next comes uh, with git so if i do that uh, here I have a number of things that have been customized. I think I'm just going to get stash. Um, or I just add them. Let, let me just add them so that we don't lose everything here. So I'll do, just do get add and then I'll add everything. I'm not going to be pushing this anywhere. So now get status will show me all green. So I can just co commit them so that they can get out of here. So get, let me just get say get, say get commit and then um, test uh, files. 
just do something like that and then if i now get status you see my tree screen okay so let me clear my this my my terminal and then i do get status again and this is what i see when i do get status all right now let us start working with uh, it says here nothing to commit working to clean clean L let's do a quick uh fixture change so that we can see what happens here all right so when i come to my files here which one is this no i don't need this let me open uh, our training this is what we are going to be using today and what we are very interested in is um is the in the library management application remember in an in, we are in the apps directory library management we are very much interested in the hooks.py file this is where we are going to be putting all the all the um the the fixtures that that we will have that, that we are going to use to be using today so uh, by default this thing will not come with the uh, with the fixtures so if i do a quick find here and i look for fixtures there is i'm not going to be finding anything let me also increase uh, the font here slightly so what i did here i just did a control f uh, command f in mac and then i did fixtures so this isn't anything like that that is something that it's an array that we'll be needing to add so we, we can just go anywhere within anywhere within this uh, this file and add our array so i can just do that in under doc events or i can just go down here uh, at the complete at the very bottom and do fixtures equals and then this will take in an array okay and then let's say for instance we want to migrate uh we want to migrate our data we had some data here on articles articles Think it was article list no not that let me do library member list do we have members yeah we have a few members here so what we are going to be doing is we are going to be migrating this data so this is library member this makes more more sense maybe the library members are not going to be changing as we move along so we can just we would like to add this to our um to our fixtures so that when we put this into uh, another app the new app that we are installing is just going to move with our data so what we need to do is to copy the name of this doc type so i'll just copy the name of the doc type and then into the fixtures array that i just created what i need to do is to add it like that so i will add it as an element inside of my fixtures uh, array then i save the file right now when i come here and do get status you notice that there is a file that has changed and of course this is library management hooks.py file the reason why it is being shown here is simply because we have changed we have added something here yeah if if you look at uh, if you do a get div you're going to be seeing uh, uh this uh, this is the file that has actually changed yes and this is what we have added you see this is what you have added so that is uh, that is what git is tracking at this moment let me clear this clear so that we have some space but i still want to have git status here the next thing now remember we have added it in the fixtures but we are not seeing it is the data is not being tracked because ideally we should see the data or somewhere on the files here so what we need to do so that we can have that is to run a command that is bench and then export hyphen fixtures okay very important command bench export fixtures now remember if you have multiple sites and you want to specify the site where you want to uh, i can just run this uh, for now i don't have multiple multiple sites so i was saying if you have multiple sites and you want to specify where you want this command to run you may need to do bench and then you add site and then you add the name of your site here and then you do export fixtures so something like that bench site the name of your site export fixtures and you are done that will work so look at what we had here when we looked at uh, git status at this point we saw that this file was being tracked by github it had changes that had not been committed 
at this moment after we have done bench export fixtures if we do a get status we are going to see now we have two two items we have this which is the file that we had here and then here in the library management we have a file a, a directory here we actually have a directory at this moment and this directory is called fixtures so this directory is normally created when you do bench export fixtures and this is what tracks the changes that uh, you have inside of your database so if we go to our code now and here this is the directory that has been created it's called fixtures and when you open it it has one file this file normally contains the name of the fixture that is being tracked so remember that we moved library member uh, we wanted to to move the data inside the library member doc type and when you look at the fixtures uh, file uh, or folder inside it we have a library member so the name of this file is exactly like the name of our doc type if we open it this contains the data that is in this in this doc, doc type so here we have an array with objects so this object the first object here uh, carries the name of the doc type is library member and then the all the other data like the email the name and all that then we have another object here with the rest of the data uh, for the next uh, library member and then we have another another one here so we have three objects inside this array this is what contains our data now if you do uh, you, if you look at this this one is being tracked by gate therefore if you move this uh, or if you commit this and you push it into your github repository these changes are going to be tracked and now when the other uh, maybe developer or maybe when you need to pull this into another application the only thing you need to do after you have pulled this bench migrate and this is going to effect these changes into your uh, new instance perfect the other thing i want to show you is adding custom fields now custom fields are very critical inside of erp next because let's say for instance you are working with items table let me just go to items list and well i have one item here let me try to add a new item in full page and then let's say you want to add a new field here remember the reason why i'm selecting this one uh, this doc type is because it was created by erp next and remember the good um, development standards for Frappe and ERP Next is do not write code inside of their files. So yeah, we can just come here and do a customize, and then we put in our 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 our, our field here. Let's say for instance we want to add a field for maybe something like who added this item here just after the item code. We add down here who added um, who added this item. They may not make sense at this moment, but we, we, I just want to show you, show you the concept. You can uh, find ways of uh, applying this. Now, if you put this code as a custom field here, uh, you come here and customize and do your thing. The next time you are next upgrading this thing, you're going to lose that thing if you do an upgrade. So how you do this is the, there is, um, we have a tool here called custom field list and when you open it we have all these items that all, all these uh fields that we have here so what i would like to do is to add an another field below my items table and i want it to be tracked and not get lost when uh, maybe an upgrade has been done by erp next or by frappe so i can just come here and then i add a custom field and then the doc type the doc type is where i need to add this item it is i uh, i mean uh, that custom field it is in the items directory or doc type and then the label i want to say added by for instance and then this one i wanted to be a link uh, because i wanted to link to the user stable and then here we have a very important uh, item insert after insert after means after which field inside of this do you want to insert your custom field i want to insert it after item code so i can just come here and look for item code and there it is item code and then here we have all the other things that we have inside um, of um, the field that we are creating even when we are maybe adding them from our 
uh, create a doc type so i can see this thing is mandatory and so many other options i have here you can explore them and then i can just go ahead and save after i have saved this this one has added a, an item here a custom field now this is how our items table or items uh, form looked before we added a custom field if i reload i should see a new field loaded here you see added by and it is required and when i open here you see it is a link linking to our users table perfect now we have done that we are not safe yet if we come to get uh, to our terminal here and do git status that change is not being tracked you see the changes we have here are the same ones we had when we did our git status last time these ones are the same ones that we have here so how do we have these changes tracked such that we can have them into other doc types and not necessarily need to create them every time we uh, every time we move into a new environment so just go back to the items uh, list remember we were in the create mode so what i need to do here is go back to the items list and then in these three dots uh, click and go to customize and then what we have come to do here is not to customize anything from the action button that we have up here just click on export customizations all right then in export customizations here this is very critical don't do item here don't export your 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 items in um, in the doc type that you created these are modules okay but sometimes you find that the name of the module is matching the name of a doc type and you can just get that very wrong so what you need to do is to export this to the custom app that you created that was this library library management the reason to do this is because this is going to be adding files to this uh, module and if you add a module that has been created by ERP next your files are again going to be overwritten when they do a release so make sure that this is being exported into your custom application and then click on submit and it is going to confirm by telling you that these two items have been um, have been exported all right now if we come to our terminal here and do another git status you will notice that this time look at when we did our git status last time we had those two so this and this uh, is what is not being tracked at this moment we have three so there is something new that has been added and this is again a this is again a, a directory so it has been added into library management a module and we have a, a directory here called custom so inside of this custom is where now we have uh, let us just open it and see library management custom this is where we have those two items that have been exported if you open them you notice that they have the uh, they have the items that we have been working on all right okay so if here i do added by you see that i have a custom field that has been added and is called added by so when i export this it is going to carry this data and it's going to create another form that looks exactly like what we have here okay perfect so that is what i needed to show you today now at the end of this one i'm going to also show you uh, something that i have here i have a complete course that i am offering for erp next and i have an amazing offer this time around you get the whole course for only a hundred dollars the whole course is about 30 30 uh, uh, or so hours it's actually about 30 hours and this thing teaches you both the advanced now here i have broken this thing into two there's advanced and there is um beginner but down here we have the complete course now this course uh, is what i was saying contains everything you need to know from beginner to end the normal price is 169 dollars i have dropped it down by uh 69 dollars so you get it a hundred dollars when you apply this coupon code so go ahead and grab your copy now before the coupon codes run out thank you so much and i am expecting to see you in my next uh tutorial if you have any questions you can drop me via the contact form that i have on my blog and i will be happy to help you out thank you and see you